Hey guys, Agent Whiskers here, and I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do. Just keep them there, just put them down. I don't know. I feel like if I put them down, start like nervously rubbing myself. And <laughs> um, I do have soft hands, though. Look at these bad boys. Mmm. Jealous, aren't you? Actually, it brings me relief to know that if this Agent Whiskers thing doesn't work out, at least I have hand modeling. You know, I hear it pays like mall money like minimum wage a primo dala anyway moving on so if you're not familiar with my work i play uh, electronic music i'm based in uh, tahran saudi arabia of all places i know my take on electronic music or music in general is actually a bit different i try to incorporate themes into my albums that offer like a seamless experience from beginning to end from the first track down to the very last track. What bugs me is when I hear an album and the inconsistency of the song selection is very, very obvious. It sticks out. Some artists don't put that much thought behind the pacing of their albums, and it leads me to being bored to tears halfway through. So this is something I try to take pride in. It's not something that comes easy, but it's something I take really seriously. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write you guys a song live, just straight away off the top of my head just on the fly I'm not gonna pre-record anything I might bake some of the drums in just so you know for time constraints but just to give you guys an idea of how I write my music before we start I'm gonna show you guys how I've been recording my music I don't have a MIDI keyboard actually I do but I don't use it because I you know I work offshore and whatnot so I just have to make do with the regular keyboard Everything I've recorded, uh, from orchestral work to uh, electronic, I've done it with this handy dandy keyboard. Actually, it is handy dandy. I'll show you guys more as we get into it later. Okay, so here we are. This is Logic Pro. And as you can see, I've got some instruments loaded with uh, some drums. So just to show you guys the keyboard, just random functions like... get the idea all right so I'm just gonna write a basic riff right now an outline let's try to come up with something so excuse me while I mess around yeah this works so what we do with that we just record I don't give a shit about timing because I'm like really horrible at timing what I do is I go to this little uh, sequencer and I just quantize the timing, try to fix it up. Wait, is it here? Let's try to hear it. Yeah, it works. This one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, and this one goes here. So now let's hear how it sounds. First, of course, we double it up. Double it up. Now we got something in the background going, at least. Alright, now um, here comes the weird part. Let's say I wanted to change the key or whatnot. Just What I do, I just play it by ear. That's how I play most of my music. Like whenever anybody's around me who's listening to me writing music, they always hear like me going ah 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 uh 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 uh. No no, that's not it. Uh, uh, ah. Hold up. Actually, we should change it right here. All this is going on in my head. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. All right, now I need one more of this. Get this out of the way. We don't need it.
Then we take this back. This is more complicated than it... Actually, it's less complicated than it looks, but... Yeah, anyway. So we got the basic uh, sound we're looking for, the basic the theme. So let's hear it again. Sounds good. Now let's say I want to add some, uh, I want to add a lead to it. So let's just try that. I'm just going to randomly play on it and just see what comes out of it. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck that one up. It needs to be higher. basic idea just kind of fucked up a note here so um, now I'll just add some drums quickly since I don't want to bore you to death I uh, got some drums from a previous riff I've been working on all this has been written by me it's actually right here just copy pasted it and um, yeah let's see how let's hear how it sounds it still fits to add a bell or whatever Let's see how it would sound yeah like that yeah I guess that's it just quantize that and we're done with the riff. Let's hear how it sounds from the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. It was really great. I bet you can tell the expression of joy in my voice. I am really, really, really excited. I'm still undecided on whether or not I'm going to do another video, but if you guys like this one, you probably have too much time on your hands. And uh, But yeah, if you like it, I'll probably do another. I'll think about it. So a quick update on the third album. I got four tracks written so far, and uh, pretty soon I'm going to work on the album cover with uh, William Armstrong, Retro, from Gaff. He's the guy who did the first two album covers, and did an amazing job, amazing job, and i um, happy to work with him again. I'm looking to release the album at around like late March at the latest, the very, very latest. Uh, I got four tracks down, so that's pretty much half the album. So yeah, if I were you, I would wait outside the, the iTunes store. I would camp for like weeks outside the iTunes store. Get it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>